Hi everyone, I am going to discuss classification of dinosaur in this lecture. Dinosaur is a monophyletic clade or group. That means all kind of dinosaurs ever have all come from a single common ancestor. Although we are not sure for the species that gave rise to all kind of dinosaurs that we uh, that were in earlier Triassic, but that species might be like Eoraptor or Cellophysis. Common ancestors were bipedal and many variety of dinosaurs that we see adapted quadruped are actually but these are actually secondary quadrupedals that means quadruped animal becomes biped animal and again evolved back to quadruped animal but this kind of quadruped is called as secondary quadrupedals. Here in this flow chart I try to show you different kind of dinosaurs and how they are related. Here we can see that all kind of dinosaurs are coming from a single point indicating common ancestor origin. Okay, so this is the single point and this kind of classification of dinosaur consider hip bones that is ilium, ischium and pubis. Here also this is ilium, this is ischium and this is pubis. And based on this, we can classify dinosaur broadly into two kinds. Sertian, that is lizard hip dinosaur. Okay, I'm pointing the arrow towards the Sertian, having lizard hip. Okay. And Ornithischians, which are bird hip dinosaur. Here is the Ornithischian, which are bird having a hip structure more like a bird. You can see hip bone structure in the images here. Sorcian uh, plate contains uh, the Sorcian plate contains two more plates sub, uh, subdivided two more kinds. Okay, and these are sauropods that means long neck dinosaurs and theropods, which includes most of them are uh, meat eating and most of them were bipedal. Although in this video lecture, I'm not going to use term like prosauropod, basal sauropod, basal theropods, sauropodomorpha, because I want to keep these things simple here. First, I'm going to discuss about Saurischian sauropods. Sauropods comes under Saurischians. Sauropods were long necked and usually large body dinosaurs. All of them were herbivore, that means feeding on leaves and vegetation. Even the largest animal ever to walk on earth was sauropod, reaching 40 meter in length. That is discovered from Patagonia. It was a titanosaurid sauropod dinosaur. And then comes to theropods. Theropod dinosaurs include Tyrannosaurus rex, Spinosaurus, Raptors, and many other like these. And even all the birds are actually theropods. Most of them were carnivore, while few of them were also herbivores. Even birds are theropods, and some of them are carnivore, and while some of them are herbivore or omnivores. Many of them were biped, like this Tyrannosaurus rex. Even birds are also bipeds. All the birds are bipeds, walking on their hind legs. But few of them were facultative quadruped, that is primarily adapted for the biped, but can walk on four legs, like this Spinosaurus. Then we have Ornithischia, that means uh, bird hip. Dinosaurs, that is a sister clade of Saurischia. Ornithischia can be subdivided into many different kinds like a Stegosaur and Kylosaur, Ceratopsians, Pachycephalosaurs, and Ornithopods. Stegosaurus is the clade which include quadruped herbivore dinosaurs, but they are having plates on their back and spines. And the end of their tail. They include very famous dinosaur Stegosaurus. Then we have Ankylosaur. Ankylosaur is a sister clade 
to the stegosaur but instead of, uh, instead of having plates they had spines and heavy armor on their back there were also herbivores then comes ceratopsians ceratopsians were also quadruped and herbivore but they had crested head and many of them had horns in their faces like triceratops then we have pachycephalosaur pachy means thick cephalo head saur lizard that is thick headed lizard pachycephalosaur was the group which had thick dome shaped head and there were herbivore and biped then we have ornithopods they are also called commonly as duck billed dinosaurs and they include hydrosaurs they were all, they were adapted for a herbivore diet that when they feed on a vegetations they were facultative quadruped they can that means they can use their hind leg for running while while they are walking they use all their limbs okay for walking but this family is now considered outdated uh because a paper by baron norman and barrett published in nature march 2017 gave new hypothesis on dinosaur phylogeny that is dinosaur family tree according to the latest hypothesis theropod is no longer sister clade of sauropods uh, sauropods and they are not included in a clade saurischians that means new classification is not based on hip bone structure for example birds have hip structure uh, hip structure similar to those of uh, ornithischians okay but they are considered uh, but in the older classification they are considered under saurischians rather they put in new in new classification rather they put theropod and ornithischians as sister clade and these two sister clades comes under a new clade called ornithoscelida the clade ornithoscelida includes theropods and ornithischians in earlier classification theropod was a sister clade to sauropod okay and that comes under saurischians but now saurischians and ornith ornithoscelida is now becomes a sister clade this is the new clade and theropod is no longer to the sister clade of sauropod rather it is a sister clade of ornithischia this new clade is supported by 21 synapomorphies that is common characters supposed to be acquired from common ancestor which is common in between clade theropoda and ornithischia and that give rise to a new clade ornithoscelida this is a new hypothesized phylogenetic tree by baron and all As far as my own personal view I would like to comment that this newly hypothesized phylogenetic tree is able to answer queries like why some saurischians had quills like this one this is cetacosaur you can see the quills in the end of their tail even ornithischia from Jurassic of Siberia had Uh, true feathers and by older tree it was hard to explain but this new tree can see uh, can see much more closer relationship between theropods that also include birds and feather bearing dinosaurs as well as feather bearing dinosaurs true feather bearing dinosaurs in ornithischia These are the fossilized true feathers of ornithischian discovered from Siberia.
Thank you for watching this video. Hope you like, share and subscribe to raise support for more videos related to topic like this. Thank you.